Dear Heavenly Father, we ask your blessing as we speak on uh, fear one more time. Lord, help us to overcome any fears in our life. Uh, let any who don't know you come to know you today. We ask these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, we're going to talk in 1 Samuel 17. going to be really fast. This one's going to be a little bit of a story. You've heard the story before. This is the story of David. So picking up 1 Samuel 17, 32, it says, And David said to Saul, Let no man's heart, let no man's heart fail because of him. Uh, thy servant will go and fight with this Philistine. Now see, Goliath, the giant, had been coming out uh, day after day and taunting the people of God, taunting the armies of Israel. And no one would uh, step up to meet him and take him on. But then David said, he will go and fight. And Saul said to David, thou art not able to go against this Philistine to fight with him, for thou art but a youth, and uh, he a man of war from his youth. The Philistine was a great warrior, uh, Goliath was. David goes on to tell him, I suggest you read it in 34 to 36, that he had killed a lion and a bear protecting the sheep of his father. And it's interesting uh, because Jesus is known as the great shepherd. David is a picture, you know, that we can see in Jesus, that Jesus will protect his sheep. We're his sheep. And we can see that picture. So we'll pick up in verse 40. And he took his staff in his hand and chose him five smooth stones out of the brook and put them in a shepherd's bag, which he had even in a scrip, and put his sling in his hand and drew near the Philistine. He wouldn't put on the armor of Saul. He just took his sling, his little thing to sling his rocks. And the Philistine came out and drew unto David. And the man that bare the shield went before him. Verse 42, and when the Philistine saw about, he saw David and he disdained him, for he was but a youth and ruddy and of fair countenance. And the Philistine said to David, am I a dog that thou comest to me with staves? And the Philistine cursed David by his gods. He was insulted that this young boy was coming out uh, to meet him. And the Philistine said to David, come to me and I will give thy flesh to the fowls of the air and to the beasts of the field. Then David went to the Philistine, thou comest to me with a sword and a spear and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts the God of the armies of Israel, who thou hast defied. David was following God. This day the Lord will deliver me into thy hand. I'm going to jump to 47. All the assembly shall know the Lord saveth not with sword and the spear, for the battle is the Lord's. We have to remember that the battle belongs to the Lord, and he will give victory in our hands, victory in our life. It doesn't mean we're going to have everything easy. Verse 48, And it came to pass when the Philistine arose and came and drew near, to David, that David hastened and ran uh, toward the army to meet the Philistine. So he ran into battle. David put his hand in his bag and took thence a stone and slung it and smote the Philistine in his forehead. He slung that stone and he killed the giant. So David prevailed over the Philistine with a sling and a stone and smote the Philistine and slew him. But there was no stone in the hand of David. Psalm 118 verse 6, good memory verse for today. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear what man, what can man do unto me? The Lord is on my side. I will not fear what can man do unto me? It's a question. Man can't do anything to me if God's on my side. So the question is, do you have Jesus as your Savior? If so, you may not be rich. You may not uh, have everything you want. Everything may not go your way. In fact, we, uh, we're promised trials, temptations, and persecutions as the people of God. But we can have victory over sin. We can have victory knowing that death has been conquered because of what Jesus did on the cross. So remember that if the Lord's on your side, you don't have to fear what man can do unto you. Okay, let's close in a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this message today. We ask your blessing that it might speak to those around, that they might uh, know uh, more about you, that they may be trusting you. We thank you for your word, the Bible. We thank you for Jesus' blood shed on the cross. In thy name we do pray, amen. Okay, make sure you're in the word. Make sure you're studying. Hopefully you got the uh, Bible verses yesterday encouraging you to study. Psalm 118, verse 6, the Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me is a good verse to memorize today.